Hi, I'm Alex Azarito with Kettle Bottom Outdoors, and I'm actually gonna be trying out a smaller peep. I got a quarter inch peep, and I'm gonna be switching over to a 3 16 uh, inch peep, so a little smaller uh, when you're doing your eclipse from your peep over your scope housing. Um, the smaller that is, the more accurate you're gonna be, um, and your groups will actually tighten up quite a bit. So here, I'm gonna be changing out this peep, so I wanna make sure that when I am cutting the old material off here that's holding this peep in place, that I am not cutting into my string. Take your time, there is no rush. And now the back side here. I'm actually gonna add a little more tension to my string. And I'm also going to be adding just a, a piece of this uh, serving material into the string because I want to remove the peep and hold that same spot. And then I'm gonna tighten it up some. So this is marking where I wanna put my peep. But since I've been doing a lot of shooting this summer, um, you can start to see, if you zoom in, there's a little bit of fraying going on um, within the string, so I want to make sure that this thing is waxed and properly taken care of. Maintenance is huge on your bow. If you're doing a lot of shooting, um, I highly suggest just getting um, a synthetic string wax. Um, if you're shooting in the rain or any type of weather, um, hot and cold, humidity, um, it will affect the bow. So definitely get a, get a stick of wax and, and stay on it. Um, if you can do it every couple hundred shots, or if you're starting to see some fraying, um, it's always best. So I just like to coat the string. Anywhere you have serving and protective covering, I don't, I don't usually deal with because it's pretty, uh, pretty well protected. But you can see up here on the top uh, part of my cables, it needs just a little bit. This cable here is good. I'll come down to this bottom cable. Now you wanna take uh, index finger and thumb and you're gonna go over where you waxed until it starts heating up and work that wax right into the string. You'll see it'll have a nice glossy finish. None of those hairs really sticking up. Um, be a real nice clean, clean look on it. Any excess wax, make sure you get that off. So I'm gonna uh, tighten this bow up again to loosen up the string. This is not your standard peep sight. Uh, this is a site that designed by um, a guy named Steven Dutera, or Dutera, however you pronounce it. So this is how the package comes in. Uh, the name of this peep that I was shooting was the Mini. Um, I now will be shooting the Micro. Mini is a quarter inch, um, the Micro is a 3 16 inch. As I stated before, I wanted to uh, tighten up my grooves and be a little more accurate at long distances. So I have the string relaxed um, and I marked my spot where this, the peep was previously. So I'm just going to open that up and slide in my peep sight. And then slowly put tension back onto this string, making sure all my strings are properly in place. Like it. Now, I almost have full tension back on this bow, um, and it looks like my peep is actually pretty well aligned, um, but we'll mess around with it, we'll take a few shots and make sure it's going to stay aligned. Um, it actually looks pretty good. Now when you go to tie in this peep, um, it, it's all going to be dependent on where you actually tie in, and how tight you tie in, and how close to this peep. So uh, we're going to try to stay basically as it lays right here. Um, we'll do a, a knot at the top and a knot at the bottom. Um, but it's looking pretty good so far, I'm happy with this. Here I have some more of the BCY 350, this is nylon. Um, I'm gonna cut uh, about two feet. So I'm gonna fold this string over, make basically a giant U. Uh, we are gonna start on the top of the string. Um, so we're gonna come on the back side over and through and I'm gonna right where I see 
this string come back together is about where I'm going to keep this knot nice and tight. Now I'm going to be doing uh, a few overhand knots. One, two, three, and four. Now uh, I'm going to come back through and uh, come through here, the middle one, two, three, four. I'm going to keep tension on this bottom and bring this loop over to the bottom half of that loop. And we'll serve that back over top of itself. This is just to hide, uh, basically hide this string within itself. Uh, and not have to do a crazy knot. Keeping tension on it the whole entire time. For this here, we're going to leave, once again, about an eighth of an inch. And then we will burn, making sure from the top down, that knot shut. So again, we're going to fold this string right in half. Come on the back side, up through the middle. So, looped it through. Now we're going to do four overhands. One, two, three, four. Now instead of finishing that knot, we're going to come through here. One, two, three, Four. We're going to hold that knot over here to the right and then tie it back over itself. One, two, three, and four. And then keep attention the entire time. Pulling that knot nicely through. Tight. Here we have our bottom of our peep tied off, leaving an eighth of an inch, making sure not to cut our string, melt that tag end. And we are ready. Get our bow sighted back in. Thanks again for watching Kettle Bottom Outdoors. Time to start practicing.